I uh, got to work some overtime today, so I'm not even firing up the furnace out here. Um, my fluorescent lights aren't coming on because it's so cold. So I got the halogen behind me. I just wanted to share some stuff with you here. Uh, yesterday, Chuck came. Chuck is a glass guy of like 38 years. Lucky there. Got the windshield out. Okay. 73 Chevelle Malibu windshield is out. Setting on a piece of cardboard, leaned up so it won't fall. Uh, he did tell me that if something happened to it, he does have a source that he can get one. So, seeing a couple little signs of D-Lamb on it, on the edges. So, we may just have to see about doing that anyway. Um, show you what else we got here. Okay, we got the, as you know, the windshield's out. Down along here, we found... Found the light to be in the wrong spot. There we go. Looky there. Okay. That's a rust hole that's going to have to be fixed. And that rust runs right along down through here. So I'm probably going to make a panel to come through. Or a patch to come through right here. And up. I don't want to mess with that VIN tag. Um been told some horror stories about that and I'm like I said before if there's any question about me doing things right or staying within the guidelines of the law I'm not gonna do it um, gonna take this piece this is just trim piece right here believe it or not it's held on with a couple screws on the inside uh, right there's one the other one's down here you can't see it for the the door but I'm gonna take that off Probably cut the roof section right about here on both sides and at the factory factory spots right about here to uh, replace the roof. Um, let's walk around to the other side here. Show you a couple other things I found. It's cold out here, folks. This is a plastic inner fender well. Uh, I had a guy tell me, uh, just go buy another one. Well, you know what? If I could find one, I would buy one. A friend of mine has seven of these cars, and every one of them is missing inner wheel wells. Uh, I asked him if he had one. He laughed at me and says, oh, you know better than that. So, And he's a good friend of mine. Got a little rust starting down here. But still pretty solid. I'll take my punch and check it for right now. I think it's surface stuff. I'll hit it with my little sandblaster. Um, again, probably cut right there. Take the trim piece off just like the other side. Now here's what I found. You guys see that right there? rust okay the windshield leaked right here came down ran down this a pillar right down the kick panel onto my floorboards giving us that great Fred Flintstone look going on I think what happened on the other side get back over there uh, I got cardboard stuck all over the place in here trying to insulate it a little better. Cold as it's been, every little bit's going to help. But I think what happened over here was before he pulled the uh, the seal out, you could see water had run down between, yeah, you can see a little bit right here, water had run down between the molding and the uh, window right down in here. And it laid right there, ate a hole, and that just let the water run right down to the floor pan on the driver's side. Brings me to another another question, guys. These little mold clips, molding clips. I want to put the, the stainless trim back on this car. I like it. I like the bright work. I think it makes the car look complete, an older muscle car. i got to find some of these clips. Uh, I haven't found anything that looks 
close enough to them to say to say for sure that it'd work. I don't know. Are they? Do they all work the same? Have they all got the same bend to them to hold the molding, or what, what's up with that? So I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask you guys that know better uh, that have been around it because I'm gonna have to buy probably two dozen of them because um, I got the the windshield surround and I've got the rear window surround. Um, another little hole there. The shadow from the phone. I'm sorry. And I got. I don't know if you can see down in there or not. Years of sitting around under pine trees, pine needles everywhere. So, um, when he was here, he pointed out rust hole. Uh, there we go, right there. And there's another one over there, one on over. And he says, "Oh, you're gonna have to fix that." Well, then I told him I'm gonna I'm gonna be cutting that roof off. He says, "Okay, just he wanted me to take sandblaster up through here." clean this off real well he said he didn't want me to paint he said i could paint down to this corner here but he didn't want me to paint this flange he's got some sort of special self-etching epoxy primer for that for that windshield to seal with and he told me i could try to put the windshield in myself but he said i'll probably end up just calling him anyway um, so I think I'm just gonna, for no more than he said, he'd charge me to put it back in. I'll probably, I'll just call him. Um, that's the only thing that I plan on having any money in for having other people do, uh, except for maybe you rebuild the transmission just because there's some specialty tools involved in that, that I'm not, uh, not able to gain access to. This is some of the stuff we found in the laying down between the dash and the, the windshield. A little whiz wheel looks like for a Dremel and a little tiny wrench. So I don't know how that got there, but um, there's a short block down in there. It's a 327 out of a 68 Corvette. Still bolted up to that Buick Grand National transmission. Um, probably going to end up changing both of those out and put them up for sale at 327's board 30 over got flat top trw pistons it's been balanced uh crank is 10 and 10 it's got some surface rust on it where it's been setting i didn't clean it up or anything i just sold the heads off of it and that was that um and that was not I, i'd never run that engine i bought it from a friend of mine so you know he needed money i was trying to help him out I was going to try to run it in here, but, you know, we all see it. <laughs> we all saw. Everybody see the price of gas? Jumped up 20 cents. That's ridiculous, okay? They're blaming the unrest in Libya right now. The way I understand it, we get less than 2% of our petroleum products from Libya. Um, I'm going to be honest with you folks. Some of the guys are trying to talk me into making this thing propane injected. Um, propane has, the way I understand it, somewhere between 105 and 112 octane rating, which would be good. Uh, it's cheaper to buy. I just don't know how well that's going to work because I got two carburetors. I'd have to, I'd have to uh, rework and all that good stuff, and I don't know enough about it to do it. But I've got friends that do work with it, and they'd help me with it. But I don't know if I'm going to put the money into it. If not, I'll probably go with a more modest, mild, small block with a single carburetor for now. Uh, which case, I'd be able to use that transmission with the overdrive. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. Um, let me know your ideas, guys. If you know anything about those clips, let me know. Uh, the molding clips. I'm going to need, like I say, about two dozen of them. Um, and this is, again, a 1973 Chevelle Malibu. Uh, let me know guys thanks for everything the subscriptions the comments channel recommendations advice everything thanks guys you're great uh, this weekend we're going to see some work going on roofs coming off boys